Steve, it's good to have you on. What would you say is uh, the biggest move here behind the, the confidence number dropping? I mean, is it inflation? Is it rising rates? Yeah, it's inflation. Clearly, Seema, thanks. You know, the, the confidence index declined again. And as we know that there are two components to it, the present situation index and then the future expectations index. Both of them declined, but the biggest worry for consumers is the future and what's going to happen. All of this ties to inflation, and as we know, food and gas are front of mind for all consumers. Ironically, gas prices and the Consumer Confidence Index have been tracking very closely over the last six months. And so we saw it decline very heavily during the summer when gas prices rose. Then we had consumer confidence bump up a hair in September when gas prices came down a little bit. Now uh, the Consumer Confidence Index has gone down again. The interesting thing here is that you see differences in demographics. So people who are 55 plus rate their confidence lower than the younger generations. And of course, people who are making less money, the lower socioeconomic groups also are much lower in confidence than the other groups. One other thing is that this is very unusual to have such great confidence in jobs which is, you know, typically where you see, uh, you know, in a, a recession, you see the jobs get killed. It's not happening here. And so even though consumer confidence is down, you know, they're having great confidence about the job market. So there are some mixed signals here. And yeah, is it the confidence in the labor market that you think is behind uh, some of the record spending we saw, Steve, over the holiday weekend for not only Black Friday, but Cyber Monday as well? That's telling a very different story about how consumers feel about the economy, you could argue. Well, well, it absolutely is. And but you see differences, you know, by retailer, too. So the high end retailers are all doing great, as we know, you know, the Walmarts of the world, Amazon are doing well. It's the middle that is getting killed from a retail standpoint where you see declines. Now, we're seeing overall sales for the holiday season and for Cyber Monday up about 2.3 to 2.5 percent. Now, in a seven to eight percent inflationary period, that's actually lower volume which you know, also is driving um, you know, bigger discounts. And so you see retailers putting more of their items on di deeper discounts than they did uh, in, in prior years. But if you, know, you would expect to see, if inflation was, was reflected all the way through, you'd expect to see 7 to 8% increases. And you know, you're simply not seeing that. So the question is, how sticky is this inflation mm -hmm. going to be? And consumers expect it to continue and for food prices and gas prices to stay particularly high. Steve, got to get your take on China. As a former CEO of Office Depot, we're clearly seeing analysts bring down their Q4 iPhone uh, estimates for Apple. But, uh, you know, what do you think this impact could have on, on retail, especially big names like Office Depot, that import from China? Well, you have these protests, which it, last time we saw protests like this, as we know, was Tiananmen Square in 1989. Uh, you know, the Chinese have a history of putting these things down. But the reason is because of the shutdowns. And so you're starting to see some reaction to their zero COVID policy. The problem with this for all of us who are in America dependent on China as our manufacturing source is that these shutdowns continue to roil the supply chain. And so you don't know what's going to happen to, you know, whether it's parts or whether it's completed goods like iPhone 14s, but these are causing great shortages. And so CEOs are very concerned. And I think what you see as a result is CEOs moving very quickly, as quickly as they can, to more friend-shoring or near-shoring, meaning moving manufacturing out of China as quickly as possible. But that's going to take many, many years. So we're still going to have a, a period of time here over the next couple of years where, you know, it depends on what the Chinese policy is and whether you're going to have any product to sell.